Mr. Kapoor, I actually want to just take off uh, from uh, what uh, you know Shankar was saying about the whole. You know, a lot of people are calling this budget uh, a pro-farmer budget. Uh, you yourself said that somewhere it's sort of a big reset for the distressed rural uh, economy. But what about job creation? Do you think it's going to do enough in that department? It's a very uh, relevant question because if you see the fundamentals of the economy, which for some reason last uh, two years were not the topmost priority. Mm -hmm. I think the replatforming of our country's, uh, you know, uh, focus of the priorities is uh, terrifically happening in this budget. If you see the irrigation allocation, the Nimbard Irrigation Fund, if you see the allocations which are being made to what I would like to believe what was called a program called Bharat Nirman, which has all the six ingredients of building the rural infrastructure, and naturally that is going to catalyze rural communities, and that means consumption demand. Because that's the part of the economy that has not been moving in the last two years. We're getting 7.5% growth despite the deficiency in the rural economy. So if the rural economy, as in the agriculture economy coupled, takes off, then we are looking at going two years. We're getting 7.5% growth despite the deficiency in the rural economy. So if the rural economy, as in the agriculture economy coupled, takes off, then we are looking at going back to 8 to 8.5 percent growth. So in a very subtle way, the finance minister has created those catalysts. 87,000 crores is being spent on, uh, on uh, irrigation, on the road infrastructure. So Bharat Nirman, as it used to be called earlier, that has come back. And I like that uh, our uh, you know, late president, uh, Abdul Kalam, <laughs> on this, there has the, to be some bad the pura, pura part, you know, the provision of urban services for uh, rural people, the poor part that uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam had, you know, enacted, that's come back because they're setting up 300 urban centers, urban centers. And I think that's a very, very moot point, how to catalyze future demand. The bad news is I've not seen enough, and uh, I tried very hard last one and a half, two months, to create uh, more savings. Because we have to improve the savings yeah. propensity of our country to a good 40%. You will have to pay more taxes. I mean, dividend taxation <laughs> has gone up. For super rich, the surcharge has gone yeah. up. So there is bad news. No, actually, it's not so bad because if you see the impact of capital gains, and you analyze that very well in the course of the day, that uh, this is a soft landing. Yeah. I think there's a safety net here because it affects very few people, but it has a very broad base and very deep dive into the rest of the economy. But I think the second point that, uh, you know, you're alluding to, which is very important, because, you know, the twin balance sheet problem in our country will not only be solved through uh, a recap, it is going to be substantially solved through capital markets uh, re-engineering.